Hello everybody and thanks for stopping by, this is KCR Mark. In today's video we're going to be using the awesome Audi Quattro S1 to earn 1.65 million credits per hour. I'm going to be doing a full tuning guide and a full lap guide of the Tokyo Expressway. If you haven't already got this car, it's currently available at the Haggerty Collection. Tuning wise, this is a pretty simple build. Uh, all the wheel adjustments are locked, you can't change them at all. The same goes with the custom parts and racing parts, so you don't need to bother with any of that. All you need to do is a tune which we'll be following after the race itself. So let's get on to it. So as I said, we're going to be using the World Touring Car 600 at Tokyo Expressway. So head to World uh, Circuits, Tokyo and load up the race and let's get going. Now there is already a video on my channel from last year where I used this car around Tokyo. Uh, it was really fast and good fun so I thought I'd do a bit of a refresh of the tune now I've uh, honed my skills a bit more and this is uh, I think I'll have a lot of fun with this, it's a really good, uh, really good tune. So if you've seen my videos before you'll know I always do a wall ride on this very first lap. Uh, you don't lose your uh, clean race bonus and it just gets rid of a lot of the cars that are going to cause you problems. I personally don't wheel ride any of the laps myself but if you uh, feel more comfortable doing that you won't lose any bonus at all. As you can see this is very quick so uh, we're up with the leader already on the first lap. So we're going to go into the lap guide now. This isn't the fastest lap in the world but it'll just give you a good uh, idea of the brake markers and acceleration points. Now this tune is mainly built for uh, handling so it's not super fast down the straights but we're topping out 180. So for the first corner you're looking for the 150 board, brake hard. I go down to second gear just to get the rotation and then third to power out the corner. So for the next corner you just want a little bit of braking, don't hammer the brakes down too hard, you just understeer and then when you feel the grip accelerate out, flat out all the way down here and then you're looking for this bridge, as soon as you get to the bridge ease off the throttle, don't brake, just ease off the throttle until you firm that grip again. Again the same for this corner. I went a bit oversteery there, but that was me just pushing a bit too hard. And then for the next corner, you're looking for the puddle on the left hand side. That remains there the whole race, even when it's dry, that puddle's still there. It's a really good breaking point. So for the next corner, you're looking for the bridge again. Just as you get to the bridge, you can downshift for one. You can stay in fifth. Again, a little bit of braking, but just ease off that throttle. And then you want the 50 board here. Just ease off the throttle again until you find that grip. Then accelerate. Now this next corner you want between the 100 and the 50, about the 75, you can push it to the 50 if you prefer, again just easy on the brakes, you want to keep to the right hand side, off the throttle, just to open up that corner a bit and as soon as you feel that grip again, full power, all the way down here is full power again and then you're looking for the 150 board above you, which is just now. Heavy braking in this one, all the way down to first, just to slow the car down, and then I accelerate out in second, just to stop the oversteer, and then you just flat out all the way down to the line. Like I say, not the fastest lap, but it uh, gives you a good idea of all the braking markers, and of course I'm for 206, 205s are easy possible in this car. So this is a one-stop strategy with this car. Uh, lap end of lap 9 or end of lap 10 depending on how hard you've been pushing it um, you might as well change tyres you can get away with using them for the whole race but you might as well because you're going to have such a big lead anyway top up the fuel and away we go now this car is pretty good on fuel if, if you preferred you can always go onto uh, a higher fuel map and I'm pretty sure you'd be able to string this out for a no stopper but I just wanted to go for uh, lap times to see what it would do so I've, I've gone for the one stop but whichever's your preference like I say you can have a pretty big lead by the end of the race anyway and we cross the line for a pretty easy victory as you can see the uh, lap times are all pretty consistent mostly 206s and 7s I think I have a lot of fun with this car it's really nice to drive around this circuit pretty forgiving with it being four wheel drive and uh, very precise really good fun when you get the hang of it as well you can really chuck it into the corners and have some fun so uh, yeah we get a clean race bonus 825,000 credits so let's get on to the tune so this is a bit of an evolution of my previous tune uh, the toe angle and a lot of the damping has been changed I think it's a lot more forgiving now the torque distribution is up to yourself I go 60 40 but uh, it works just as well 50 50 gearbox i've just adjusted the top speed the uh, standard settings are pretty good 
a uh, lot of ballast on this um, just to get the PP down but we've kept the 50-50 uh, weight distribution for the handling just to ensure you've got the standard turbocharger fitted on this for this tune uh, I've gone to two at the front for the brake bias but uh, again that's more of a personal preference whatever suits yourself um, so thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy the tune and make good use of it let me know if you uh, any of you try out the known fuel strategy I'll be interested to know how that goes and uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.